The power of the Lake District exerted itself upon me on two memorable occasions. A, an old friend of mine had moved up there with his young family in the 80s, and I took my young son camping to Borrowdale. We camped on a hillock overlooking the river, and for a week I watched my son revert to a sort of wildness, and he became a, a kind of a Cumbrian huckleberry fin, swam in the lake, canoed, we climbed the knitting hordes together, crawling through the gorse and the heather to the upper peaks. And it was then that I recognised that there was a strange power in this. This region of England is unique. It's a kind of a, a sealed off island in Britain, um, a kind of a Narnian romantic region um, of alpine peaks and dells and glades and valleys. That, um, and I understood then that uh, the power that it exerted over the Romantic poets, Coleridge, Southey and Wordsworth. The second occasion uh, where the power of the lakes really bore home upon me was on a walk up Raven's Crag with my friend Paul and his dog. It was a very, very cold winter's day. There was a deep white fog shrouding the peak. And as we ascended, the fog got thicker and thicker. The edges of the mountain became blurred and indistinct. And it was as if we were ascending into some ethereal realm. And the dog, once we got to the peak, who was very mild and uh, meek in, in, in ordinary domestic life, became absolutely wild. He would vanish into the fog and then reappear seconds later, like a streak of flame flashing across our plane of vision. And I realised then that he was reverting to wildness in exactly the way as my, my son um, reverted. And I think that's the power that the lakes exerts. We resonate with that kind of wilderness, back to nature. And um, it, it's, it's something that, it's a place that allows us to shed the snake skin of our urban civilised living. And really, really drink deep from the mountain and the forest and the lake that is still our natural environment. And that for me is the power of the lake.